Ho ho! Salutations, everybody! We're back with more Clockwork Night 1 and 2! Papa Rocho is a very. I still don't like his face. I mean, yeah, it's. It's, it's, a, it's a creepy toy land. Creepy toy store world. It's early 90s CG. It's, of course it's gonna look a little uncanny. Also, don't mind that little bit of uh, back and forth I just did there. I was importing a code that I'll be utilizing later for our uh, trip into part two of Clockwork Night. Clockwork so Night. So we will go for it. So as we enter part two, part cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> How about I give a part cheesy? So, as a quick reminder, everybody, um... Pepperoncini. Hey. Ah. So, as a quick reminder, everybody, this is technically the version of Clockwork Night 2 that we got at, here in the West. And, I mean, basically, it's all part of the whole collection here. And, well, this one puts a bit more of a focus on uh, the horsey. Aw, eat the carrot. Also, also all these you... random-ass noises I'm making with the other buttons. What are you engaging? <gasps> But yeah, but you just, what I was just doing there was I was like fiddling around with the other button. Like, basically you have to press start if you want to actually, you know, go to the options or start the game. But if you press any other button, you just make, you just, I don't know, there's just a whole bunch of sound effects that play out and it's so fucking silly. I just happened to just notice that, like, what would be the advantage of having attack, run, and hold all be mapped to the exact same button? I mean, at that point you can just treat it like a Mario game. Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess I can see what you're saying. Oh, Lord. So, so uh, real quick, okay. everybody, um, this is something that only really happens in the uh, other territories of Clockwork Night 2. It doesn't start, like, immediately with the story. It actually starts off with a little Samba montage. Aww. Ooh. So apparently the perfume girl also knows the, th knows the salsa? They all do. So apparently uh, Clockwork Night served as the unintentional pilot for Samba de Amigo. 100%. <laughs> In a matter of speaking. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy a, a quick viewing of Salsa de Paparocha. Aww. So, and again, this is only available This is only available in the overseas versions of the game as an FMV? Technically, we can watch it here, too. But if you want to watch it in the U.S. version of Clockwork Night 2, you have to go into the The Movies uh, mode, which we uh, passed by earlier. Gotcha. But basically all this is, is just a cute little salsa number that also gives us a quick recap on the events of the original game. Oh, okay. So, previously, we were trying to have a grandiose competition to win the hearts of Big Bertha. And Big Bertha what was... Big Bertha? I don't know, I don't know, it was a Beth or... Her name whatever. was Chelsea. Chelsea! I was a letter off. You were way off. The fairy princess Chelsea, who had, whose voice can bring toys to life at midnight. But she was kidnapped by a... First she was kidnapped by a gorilla, then she was kidnapped by a robot that was piloted by our grandfather or something. But then there was a to be continued at the end of the first game. Yeah, and I mean, you know, what a great way to, you know, recap the whole events by just doing a whole song number where everything looks a-okay. He's gonna try and upstage his, uh, his associate, of course. Oh, hey, that's a key transition. Uh, so, I'm just gonna look, so I'm just gonna look at this and pretend that this is the Clockwork and Ike Finny Fun that I had been promised. <laughs> so that's essentially what this is, though. Honestly, this is honestly a lot more enjoyable than Finny Fun. That's not weird lyrics. And... Aww. Aww. You have Pepper, who... You have Pepper, who is the clumsy oaf, and then you got Ginger, who is literally, literally good at everything. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so no. I just, I, honestly, it's funny, because I don't think I brought this up during the last session. Like, Pepper and Ginger's relationship, it's like, you know, obviously, you know, Ginger's the good, you know, the really, like, the expert, and, you know, Pepper's the oaf. But their, but their chemistry is a lot more like X and Zero. Like, they have no real mouths towards each other. They're okay. bros in the matter of speaking. Friendly rivals. Exactly. But uh, oh, that's right, and I recall now where the and I recall now where the big uh, to be continued was was it was like a power outage or something that like knocked out power for the entire house. Well, no, the to be continued happened as, just as we were uh, approaching Chelsea, who we did technically rescue. Oh, but that's right, but but she was completely unconscious still. Exactly. I know. I yeah. I I, I hear Pepperocho. That was a hard fought boss fight too. Yeah, it was kind of obnoxious. I mean, then they had to deal with the ice physics of the uh, the kitchen and did the dick twister on that um, that uh, not Elmo uh, clockwork toy. Yee. And again, there's oh. whoever that knight is in. Oh, that's right. And then there came this uh, this weird monstrosity. Yeah, the TV still monster had, that had a clockwork knight fought like 
face and it's still and I still don't understand if that will ever actually be delivered upon or explained. Uh I'll spoil this much. It does thank it does thankfully get explained. Thank goodness. Or at the very least there's closure to it. So uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed that salsa number. Now get ready for a very sudden recreation of the final boss. Oh? Oh. Though I did do a little bit of a twist because now we're playing as Ginger. Oh. This is actually something you can do through via a uh, special code you can input in the menu screen where you can play as uh, Ginger, who pretty much just plays like Pepper, but is almost better in every way. Really? Also, is it me or does face look different here? Face does look different, yes. They actually did change some of his graphics, uh, like on the TV. Okay. Like it doesn't look quite as it doesn't look quite as uh, st uh, stock uh, stockholdery as it was before. But uh, and so this is just a, its own bonus mode where it lets you replay the bot. So wait, I'm trying to get the order in my head right about this. So you would watch that salsa number and then it would just immediately toss you into a refight again, rematch against the final boss of the first game. Yes. A that again, this this speaks for the very original Clockwork Mag Two, which was only in Japan and Europe. We can only experience this boss fight in the NTSC EU version of the game if we do the Ginger code, or if we fight him again in the boss galore mode. Also, okay. man, Ginger had a much easier time with that than you did. Basically, the thing with Ginger is that he can run faster than Pepper, He his attack is a little more... I guess it just covers more range. He can uh -huh. also do a double jump while he's dashing, and he just jumps higher in general. Like, again, he's just better than Pepper in every way, but that being said, I'm going to play things fair and stick with uh, Pepper for the rest of the adventure, which, uh, that being said... Now we're back to where we ended off in the uh, last game. Yay. My goodness, Chelsea, what has brought it? Oh, oh my lord. Oh. Unfortunately, some bats came in and said, Bitch, we're taking her back. Nah, -uh. Fuck you mean, nah. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you mean, nah. -uh. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go, go find her again. But thankfully, now we have a plan. Ginger's going to take out the big bat that's been causing all this while we've been tasked with finding the princess. All right. Because, dang it, the frickin' Ultra Mega Kong or whatever is still up and kicking. Oh, don't worry, the Kong's more or less history. What we're dealing with is an even bigger threat. Oh. But, uh, much like before, I mean, you know the drill at this point. We're going to be going through four brand new worlds still in the same damn house. And, uh, there's two levels each and a boss fight at the very end. Otherwise, um, there's been a few tw uh, mild tweaks here and there in part with the visuals and some ga new gameplay gimmicks, but otherwise, it's more or less the Clockwork Knight we all know and love like before. Oh, okay. So, uh, and no, no other new moves that Pepperocho has picked up in yet, or kind of just the only the same? real difference between uh, the first and second games is that now you actually have the means to. Um, oh, jeez, oh, man, I'm off to a fantastic start. Aww. You're catching up. You're good. Okay, so right off the bat, here's our brand new gimmick. Uh, each level now will have uh, four cards that Pe Pepperocho can find and uh, spin around to reveal. Uh, if he can find all four cards in a level, he'll earn himself a golden key, which is you know a health extension. Though, the game does give you something extra for finding every single card in the entire game. Oh. But I'm just going to spoil this right now. I'm not going for all the cards because some of them are kind of obtuse to find. And the only thing you're getting, like, all you really get out of it is a little select code. Oh, which I'm, I'm positive I can probably find for you right now anyway. What's funny is, is I think it's, a, it's like it's a completely separate code than the one they actually give you. But I could be wrong on that. Let me find out. But, uh, but while I'm doing but while we're taking a look at this, um... Any new... I mean, I, I assume from the looks that we have some new enemies to contend with? Uh, there's some newish enemies here and there, but otherwise, again, it's more or less the same game. Um, that being said, though, um... Whoa! I do find it kind of weird that among the changes that they did make with the sequel, like, there's some graphics that did change, but now they have it so that you can actually toggle how you do... how you can run, because, in, like, in the first game... Like, there was no toggle with that. You have to tap, just double tap in order to run. But now you can tap, uh, assign that to a button if you want to. Oh, okay, that's handy. Um, because with the keys, it may be possible. Whoops. Uh, what happens if you get What happens if you get more than one health extension? Does it actually just Does it actually give you even more gears? Uh, you can get up to five gears. Gotcha. But after that, like any other gold gear you find, just it, it has the same properties of a silver one. Okay. Right, windy, windy, wind, and whoop in the box. What have we found? Oh, just another more level. All right, all right. I am going to oh party and a balls. bunch of party yeah. balls. The best. All right, let me look this code up. Let's see. Uh, 
clockwork knight two coats. Just in case, just in case. So, let's see. Uh, so, again, there is the ginger code, as mentioned. There is the, you know, how to play the original Clockwork Knight code. We know about that. Uh, yep. there uh, there's a code that lets you play as ginger throughout the entirety of uh, Clockwork Knight 2. Uh, only downside is that, um, well, if you, can, if you count it as one, uh, he skips all the cutscenes. And uh, he's the only one that's, a lot, like, in the NTSCU version, he's the one that can fight the, re the rematch with uh, the, the crazy TV. Okay. Mm. So... According to this, the, the only two passwords I found was nice. One of them was a you know get 999 lives if you needed code on the title screen, and then the other one I don't know what to make of this. All the code literally the title of the code is my goodness. All the title of the code says is get to the end of the game. So apparently there's a password that you enter. Nice. There's a password you enter. And it will let it will make you get to the end of the game if you enter it, I suppose. Yeah, more or less. Oops. That was dickish. It was. A little dickish, but that was also kind of a dumb on my part. Actually, now that I'm do now that I'm here again. Now I'm gonna use you for something super sneaky. Oh. Assuming oh. they're all lined up in a pattern. Never mind. Well, what were we trying to do? I was trying to uh, basically have a thing where, like, if you manage to uh, th like knock out like five enemies in a row with a with a tossed uh, item or an enemy, you get an extra life. I gotcha. Um... Also, like something just noticed, like when you pass that part of the castle, the way the camera rotates, that's kind of like an interesting like Clanoesque thing because I don't remember any of that happening in the first game. Oh yeah, no, like um, in the original game, it, it mostly kept to one plane. Whereas here, they, at least for one level or two, they do that do that whole thing of like twisted perspective. I get you. So how would you say as a whole this game would, like, I know, like, it seems like from a gameplay standpoint it is fairly the same as the first game, but would you say there are, like, any other, like, notable differences between the, the two that would, like, make them stand apart from each other? Not necessarily. Like, Clockwork Knight is pretty much, or Clockwork Knight 2 is to Clockwork Knight as uh, Diddy's Conquest is to Donkey Kong Country. A natural extension, but not too much big of an extension beyond that. Okay. It's more of the same if you like it. And I mean, I like it in some ways. Though it does definitely play with some slightly kookier ideas here and there. Like, again, they bring in the, they bring in the whole thing of, like, um, the card system now. And then, every once in a while, you'll actually get to ride on your trusty steed, Baro Baro. And other than that, there's like one or two sequences you can find if you look hard enough where you can actually race one of, one of the valets. Oh, oh, okay. And then I assume they just give you another health extension if you win the race? Uh, yes. Okay, nice. All right. Uh, one other check. thing worth noting is that, um... Oh, there we go. Hey, ah, nice. nice. Extra life! <laughs> but, but, um... Good. Oh, I was going to say, be careful. This is where you fell down the big pit last time. Don't worry, I don't need to go down there again. Okay. Uh, beyond that, is there any, uh... Uh, is it still the same where no, where no stage has a checkpoint in it? No checkpoints. If you die at any point, you start from the very beginning of the level. Which does lead me to something else I should have probably brought up sooner. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit, a bit more liberal with states, safe states for this playthrough. Because there's definitely some points that I'd argue is if not, if not, if it's not confusing, it's borderline horseshit. Gotcha. And the stages are a little bit longer in the sequel now? Uh, not entirely. Like, some are longer than others, but the, it's mostly the same. I'd honestly say the most hard, like, the hardest part I'm going to have to go through are the boss fights. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, oh. Also not helped because I'm playing this game on hard mode now, which is how I'm going to get the full ending of the game. Um. Oh. Uh. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, well. I'm sure there's something I can find. No! Ow. Well, you found that. Did the egg fall down? Oh, the egg fell down there. No, that's the egg that was still from earlier. Uh, yeah, that egg was always there. Um, actually, that does remind me of something else I should have brought. Since I'm playing on hard mode, uh, there are some uh, things that have changed. Namely, in terms of enemy patterns and item placement. Like, earlier on, I could have found an inv uh, invincibility power-up right around where the bridges are. But since I'm playing on hard mode, it's not there. Also, most of the enemies that you can normally, you know, one-shot with your Keyblade uh, are mostly replaced by those that you can only stun and toss. 
Gotcha. Just requiring more of that stuff. Oh my god. Oh, oh, well, there's the egg. And down goes the egg again. Okay, this time let's just go to the right and let's just go to the right and go back left and see. Oh my gosh. Let's see if it was worth all the hassle. Yes, it was. Hey. No. Now let's hope I don't lose it all at, at this point in time. That would be handy. That would be handy. That would be handy. And. Oh, thank Nailed goodness it. no fall damage. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Like, imagine. Jeez, um, this is like being the last game I'd ever want fall damage to be a part of, considering we're literally just made out of uh, uh, old gears and such. We're There's our game. fourth card. Woohoo! Speaking of which, a Tinker Toy, and we need the scene, need the scene, need the scene, need the scene. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, I I was a little I was a little far too far away from the letters. Ah, uh, not well. Yay! I'm not gonna worry too much about it because lives are pretty easy to come by in this game. Okay. So yeah, um, I guess it should be brought up. It's kind of funny how there's like in the last game we had two children's bedrooms, and now with the first game, now with the second game, we start in the what they call the kids' room. So now they've joined. They've joined forces. It matters to me. Speaking of joining forces, well, this, this happens immediately after. Yep. Right. They are very active on the construction. It's like storks that we watched last night. <laughs> Oh, they hi. built that house up in me. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I still, I, I don't know why, it's still the delivery of that line. I just love just like, oh, hi. Hello. Also, quick word of advice. Definitely, when you start seeing all those bigger toys tumble down, uh, t turn on the gas immediately. Because you're not going to, because you're likely going to get hit if you stay in the middle. So, how fast does, whoa, so how oh. well does Bor, how well does Bor Bor, whatever his name is, uh, control? Uh, he controls fine. Uh, it's all automated, if it's no doubt obvious, but um, otherwise you can you can jump relatively easily, and moving from left to right is not too bad. So it's sort of like the Donkey Kong minecart stages. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's like the it's exactly like, like the minecart my, my stages, and much like in the original game, there's only two of them. Ah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Whoa, Hopefully you don't mind them. <clears throat> <sighs> Sounds like he does. This I love how crazy this horse's head just spins about when you jump. Oh, oh my lord! Oh man! Oh man! I think he, he minds that. Uh, <laughs> no. So, <laughs> in terms, so in terms of what we've been up to since we last started doing all this, uh, we've been keeping an eye on some of the new uh, updates and stuff. Uh, that real quick, additional also be said with those cards. Uh, if you want them to turn all the way, you gotta be literally gotta be running. Otherwise, they're oh. just gonna go. They're just they're barely gonna spin at all. That's annoying. I find that. Where was I going with this? Uh, I was mentioning that we were, we were, were keeping you? on some update. What? Where were you going with this? I actually don't recall. It's been a <laughs> long day. I ate a very good dinner, and I That's am good. still trying to emotionally recover from it. So, oh, <laughs> emotionally <laughs> recover from your food? I don't know. I'm, that was probably more. He did. He didn't want to part from it. He knew that eating it would mean he'd no longer be with it. I was actually really. I was. I'm trying to get back on this diet again, and I'm actually really bummed because I didn't get to eat what I really wanted to eat. But I know it's for the best for me. I know it's. I know it's for. It's for the best that I don't eat it. You know what? Uh, you know what, dude? I really feel that because no! like. Oh boy. Because I've been trying to do, like, a little bit of, like, a weight loss myself. I even started this, uh, me and my church actually started doing this, uh, fast for about a good chunk of the month, where, or, I'm choosing, mind you, it's optional, but I'm choosing to, like, skip breakfast. But even before then, I've been trying to, like, cut certain foods out of my diet that, you know, it has been working, but it hurts that the things I'm having to cut out are things that I really like, like, particularly peanut butter. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you really want to make the make make the most out of a diet, you I tend to hear that you like have you pretty much have to cut out like carbs completely. Yeah. yeah. No. That, well, actually, it's funny because like my mom's talking because I was talking about this with my folks. They theorized that like because of the way I'm eating, like just cutting out peanut butter by itself actually did prove like get have like a significant amount of weight loss to me. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Well, enough about my woes. Okay. <laughs> we all have woes. Whoa there, Baro Baro! Heads up, yo! Slow down there, Baro Baro! Oh, God. You've been hitting the bottle again, haven't you? 
Don't you lie. I know exactly what you said. I know when a horse lies. Got it. And... Oh, yeah. Hey, you actually did it. Nailed it. You get one life. Leave. <laughs> Go and take your cards with you. All two of them. Yeah, that, again, like, if you really want that super special code that badly, you need to get all of them in one run. I, th I mean, I assume at least you can replay... Is she our boss? No, no, she's just here... Again, like in, like I said, it, it, it makes more sense in Japan where, like, in their version of the game, they're usually the ones that give you tips on the uh, level or boss ahead. Right. Oh, okay. But that's lost in translation, unfortunately. No, this certainly wasn't. Oh, God! Whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Oh, that's boy. a spooky Durgan. If that even is a Durgan. He's a Durgan that just want to sing, baby! So I'm gonna say, sing! A pair of... Damn, he's got the jive. He's got the funky, fresh flow. Go ahead, Matt. Oh, give me a sec. He's just, he, apparently, we're fighting the snake toy James Brown thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I can, I can hear it. Can you see the light? Hey! Also, I'm noticing this is kind of annoying because unlike most bosses, he does not like to sit around even when you're in wind-up phase. <laughs> no, not really. I like how he took a second to sing into his microphone tail. Ow! He, he, he is very, uh, he, he is very, fr he, he is very fresh. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my oh. lord. Oh, I see he's trying to take a nibble out of you. I believe this particular attack you're actually not going to be able to get. This is an attack exclusive to uh, hard mode. Oh. Okay, so there are some interesting new changes to the bosses. So, beyond that, I'm assuming... Oh my lord. Oh boy. We just steer clear of the... And there we go. Oh, you got him. Wow. Oh. He's lost all the color in his life. So is the... But hold on, hold on. He's got one little curtain call. Oh, boy. Get Ooh. off the stage! Oh. <laughs> okay. Is the lore uh, that we're still dealing with something that is making toys evil? Yes. Ah, okay. okay we got to stop it. Okay, you know, it, it's fortunate that they point this out, because that's something I always wondered. Of, like, wouldn't it be very unfortunate if, like, in the middle of a level, like, his wind-up key just slows, and it's like he's in the middle of a platforming section, and he just has to, like, you know, freeze to a halt because his wind-up key stopped? You know, that would honestly make for an interesting time limit. But, uh, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, n much like before, now we get to pl partake in a Solshian roulette. Actually, right. actually, wait, isn't there a time limit on these levels? There are, yeah, yeah, I believe they, so. They, 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 they're basically they're, they portray it like a typical clock. Though I thought they would honestly be funny if it was portrayed more like a wind-up key. Yeah, right. right. All right, so pay close attention to the prizes, everybody. Okay. Can uh, you guess where the big one is? Because I sure as hell can. No. Oh God, fuck you. Uh, one to the right. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna say one to the right. There. This one. No, oh, no one. Yeah, there we go. Hey! Nice. We Something. got you a life! No. Yeah, let's just play it safe. You have 16 lives, I think you're good. But yeah, no, it is like, what I am noting is that, like you mentioned in the previous, you know, video, this feels like it spins much faster than the first game. It absolutely does. It, it, it's, uh, it comes one, to a point where, like, I can barely left. even keep up with the one I want. One to the left? Yeah, I said one to the left. Ah, oh, damn it. Aww. Sorry. How could you? I'm I sorry. I did nothing, yodeling, sir. <laughs> I, fucking, no, I love no. how fucking knock off Mr. Potato Head here, who is Pepper's valet for the record, go up and says that if I lose. Like, I, I, so I didn't, I know that's not like I'm putting your money down the line. Okay. I'm trying. I'm so trying. It's like, th th there's no way. When that, ha once it gets to that blur point, there is zero, I can't follow it. Just see. Well, you got a life! <laughs> and I didn't have to do nothing. I mean, I'll say, like, with all the ways to get lives, I feel like we're having a much higher life count than we did last time. Oh, God, yeah, no. Last time, we barely broke ten. So, all right. Yeah, I, I got nothing. I'm going to say three to the left. Sure. Three to the left. Hype, what do you propose? 
Uh, honestly, trust them because the screen share stalled on my end. Yeah, okay, it did two, for me too. Three. But... Try this. Oh, four hey, points. Hey, got oh. guys. Go. I had to do it again. What's <laughs> better, all? Well, something. All right, keep your eye on them fucking boxes. Oh wow! Ooh, multipliers. Actually, okay, that, God, she does bad. No, there's so okay, many so of the clowns. See. Just I'm the first me. one. Just whatever it is. Okay. Hey! Nice. You're well. You're welcome, James. You're fucking Why welcome. Double it again. No, don't. No, we're okay, good. We've been okay, we've been here for long enough. <laughs> I don't want to waste too here. much time gambling your life savings. Okay, here, later. I'll see what I have. Aw, he's leaving so soon. Please come again. I love you. Please, I get lonely. What? <laughs> um, I said, love do, as in Mountain Dew. As a reminder, everybody, she has the hots for Pepper and, and sees Chelsea as a romantic threat. <laughs> I bet Chelsea okay, doesn't that, like Mountain <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That's, oh, that's a bit of a, uh, that's a strong word. It's more uh, healthy competition. No, you know, it's I bet like, Chelsea like, doesn't appreciate Mountain Dew as I do. I ha. I bet you anything you won't find a protagonist in a movie called Chelsea. Chelsea well, is the, Chelsea's the evil bitch. Oh really? I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I'm, gonna, uh, yeah, I'm looking this up. I'm curious. <laughs> I just say random <laughs> shit, man. I, I I I understand. It, 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 it's not for everyone, but we all are. I, I'm, and okay, for that matter, just... why? And for that matter, don't you think it's weird that you pronounce it Chelsea, but it's spelled Chelsea? Right? What? Okay, I got it. Okay, I got to come clean. Uh, on a video that I'm sure that I'm hoping won't go out before it's too late, but so I am super. Oh, actually uh, hold nervous. that thought real quick. Yeah. Uh, that book is hanging up a little uncomfortably close. Uh -oh. It's gonna fall. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Y you better Not start book. booking it. <sighs> One of two things can happen. You can either be a trap, or it could be a way. It could be a way forward. Hey, what you're saying, Logan? Oh, hey. Ooh. Uh, that. Okay, so I I am genuinely like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I am a little nervous about something that I will that I'm. I I, I assume this video will probably go out either before or after it it gets done. But so. I'm gonna be doing this tabletop thing of, of uh -huh. uh, angel arts, and uh -huh. the pre the premise of it was something that I was I'm, I'm I was kind of curious to see and to give it and to give a whirl, but the more I've been thinking about, it, the more I'm like super nervous if it's even gonna be worth it or if it's gonna or if it's gonna or if it will have the same nice, if it will have the same like entertainment value as I thought it would, which is oh nice, uh, which is I'll be back. Oh. We want to get that card. Uh, was they had this? I he had this idea of like, what if we did like a whose line is it anyway kind of thing over tabletop. Ooh. Um, like he's like he's even like made a YouTube video where like people will um, people are like suggesting like phrases and things to say as a part of the like improv like bit or whatever. Um, but I just I don't know like something I'm just thinking like. Will that be funny? Will that will that work? Because like, I think a lot of, just I think a lot of what makes, whose lines it anyway work. Number one is having having funny people. So, I'm involved. Shut I don't, the fuck I, the, up! I'm no, you are the funniest that. goddamn person we know. I don't think I don't know, but 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 I don't okay. know if I can like do I don't know if I can do it like on scheduled improv like my my Ooh. humor in terms what of what do you what think you do in all these videos has but I feel like that's been more so just like you two confused by what I'm saying and that's where the joke comes from was like what it's still making uh, us laugh yeah well before you go any more into your existential dread there about your yes. about your level of comedy let's do a race le bon race. Le bon will race us <laughs> to the very end of this <laughs> hallway. Oh crap, he's actually really trying his hardest. Oh no, it's the Wiggler. Hey, he's... Oh, no! No, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh, oh that God. was close. Dang. Well, what would have happened if we lost, but he'd have killed us? No, he would have just... He just, he just would have been bouncing and laughing at us. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, oh, so, uh -huh. really, so really, it's not that big of a deal. It's really not. It's, it's just an extra thing. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Le Bon can actually be found in several other parts of the, of the game. 
But that's literally the only place I've been able to find him. So uh, there's your first and probably only look at a Le Bon race. Oh, Fair gotcha. enough. Also, uh... um, but 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 yeah, the other thing that I'm nervous about with it is, I think a lot of what makes Whose Lines Anyway really fun to watch is the physical aspect of the comedy and stuff like. So not being able to okay we've we've, we've made, we made full circle so would uh, so I don't know if doing it completely over webcam I mean, and online I don't know if it will have no, the same Logan I I impact need, to watch. I need to show you when it, first off uh, I need to show you more Dimension Twenty because they definitely have funny stuff like that uh, and I also need to show you you only have a minute left James. Uh, uh -oh. Oh, oh my god, you're right. Yeah, I didn't well, even realize how small the strap that was for time. Let's grab some clocks. There we go. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. But uh, continue. But no. Um, another thing. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, Hi. There my... we go. <laughs> nice poke. But no. Okay, uh, I also need to show you the distractible episode where they do a Who's Lies It Anyway but over webcam because it's still really funny. Because again, that you just okay. saw the improvisation is so funny. Like, they're doing the whole, like, the uh, changing the genre of a scene and all that. That's so, right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we're. Yeah, I, we're, show, I showed again? you the bit. Is like superhero, and they they do this whole thing, and it's like man. The radiation, right? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I just love the uh, man. I really am excited about uh, about being almost on retirement, and also hey, nice. tomorrow I have the gamma radiation test. <laughs> Fantasy. Glenor the, Gady, the radiation <laughs> wizard has informed me. <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's okay. So, but, but fair enough. So it's gonna be. It, it will be mostly relying upon just the material on how we handle it. Uh, in which case, I hope someone. I, I hope. Oh. I hope we do a good job at organizing it because I am not so good at organizing. Also, I just realized our health is at. Yeah. Oh I my god! Realize. I just realized that too. <laughs> Look yeah, at that. Yeah, already at max health technically. I didn't even I, I didn't even pay attention to what the color of the of the cog was. Yeah, like did he didn't you earn one of those by beating that bouncy guy at the race? Yes, I did. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, it is blue. Okay, nice. It's blue right. now. Yay. Hello. But no, you're saying Logan. Uh, uh, just I oh, I wait, just. I I just hope... Oh, okay. Oh. I was about to say I hope I didn't make a mistake. I just I I guess at this point then it's gonna be it's gonna rely very heavily on. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna rely. Holy shit! We are up to twenty four lives. This gotcha. is hard mode, everybody. But uh, yeah, it's gonna rely. Oh, very don't worry. They're gonna make up. They're gonna make up that difficulty with uh, the bosses. Oh God. I mean, that is true. But, but uh, yeah, so I guess it will. It, and rely... the final world, world of the game. Oh, I got another life on top of that. Hey, hey, oh, look look at that. finish. But nice. uh, yeah, yeah it will rely it'll heavily on how people organize it. I just hope it works out fine. That was just my own little nervousness thing. I, I again, I, I need to show you more like Dimension Twenty. Like, uh, they just started their new season. And uh -huh. the beginning of it is so fucking funny because it's been, it's been about four years or three years since we last saw these characters in, uh, it's part of a series called Fantasy High. Ah. Uh, and they're just saying, like, they're just like, hey, remember when we went on this adventure, guy? And it's all just bullshit that they're just making up on the fly because it's been so long since we've seen them. Oh, uh, okay. so not so not a crummy club show. Yeah, it's like the Dover. It's like the Dover Boys intro. Uh, for, and and uh, whoa, nice. Uh, and that's something. Uh, that's something I think the game could have been could have taught you a little better. Is that yes? Now we've come to the level where we can actually open up books. Uh, and uh, and Dick, the the middle uh, uh, Dover boy from the Dover and the Everglades, and the and the freaking and I still love the reanimated him. Like yeah. okay, let's wrap but, it up. Let's wrap but it no, up. like oh, like one of the things they that? one of the things that uh, in Dimension Twenty in the uh, <laughs> one of the things in the episode is that there's this uh, the fan favorite character Squeam, who is just this crystalline creature that just goes Squeam. That sounds like a Rick and Morty joke of like, it, oh, he's always been here. He's the best character. Basically. Or, 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 or it's freaking Smormoo from Smiling no, Friends. No, yeah, basically oh, that. I need to show you the Squeam clips because they're so fucking funny. <laughs> Harry Bieber. will explain. Nice. I'm Meryl Beaver. I'm Meryl Oh, where are we looking? We're, we're in the study room. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Because you know, like, the background, like, suddenly gave me, like, the vibe of, like, an old coffee shop. 
Yeah. With, like all the pictures guys, everywhere. It is a very fanciful library. Yep, I was honestly about to say, yeah, this could also be, you could also say it's a library for all we know. Let's just say right now, like, whoever owns this freaking, like, house or home or whatever are fucking loaded. It, this yeah, kind of, yeah. like, honestly, this kind of reminds me of the uh, old reading, the old, uh, like, study room that my family used to have. You had a, oh. wow. Oh, I need to show you guys the house I grew up in. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, that this sounds like a the, very uh, exciting road oh. trip. Yeah. Ah. This is, uh, I'm also, for some reason, like, that's right. I was like, where, why, why does this remind me? I was like, yes. This is where we finally learn that the whole adventure of Clockwork Knight takes place in the McAllister home. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it. I can totally believe it. Whoa. Careful. Although you might have, might lose me at one particular uh, part of the house. Oh, uh, okay. Well, well, we'll find out where that is eventually. Hopefully we uh, get some Is the link... Yes, we would. I, uh, another key would be very uh, nice. Maybe there's here, please. Uh, clock, uh, clocks and time. Speaking of I, clocks, I wonder how much. I wonder how much like money we actually have now because we've been gaining a lot of it recently. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to figure that out until you uh, either game over or you go or you, you go through another social roulette. The hell are we? Very dark. We are somewhere deep and dark. With a the box. deep dog, as it is known, colloquially. Get in! Get uh, in! Oh darn my lord! My darn my mechanical fat boxes! You're not even fat! <laughs> no, I'm just metal, I'm just thick skinned. Uh, oh, lighter! Oh, God. This is kind of metal. Jesus Christ, <laughs> why are we running around with this thing? <laughs> you know what? You know what your parents always tell you never to run around with a match? Well, they never said to run around with a lighter. I love, the just running, I, I love the idea of him just running around like, Oh god! Oh god! Like, he's even panicking about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm oh, gonna oh, take it with this thing. Oh, hold on. Rocket? Rocket? Raccoon? Screw lighters. Let's have oh. a rocket. Oh. oh god. And we just finished the level. Oh, oh okay. okay. So there are bonus exits? Yep, there are bonus exits. You skip out on the, uh, you know, end of level, uh, jump minigame thingy, but otherwise you do clear the level quicker than you would otherwise. I also, how... I need to put a say say up now, because I hate this fight. Oh, boy. I love how, I love how canonically what just happened was that we just said, oh, fuck this level, and we just bounced and we left, and... <laughs> what the heck? A pagey. We are literally fighting a sentient pa it, it was sentient pagey, yes, who, with the power of the, all this colored ink... Can become whatever it wants, like a gorilla. Oh, oh boy. honestly, not gonna oh. lie, this kind of remind this kind of makes. I don't know why it reminds me of a fight that would be in the like Origami King or something. Yeah, you know, it, it does. I was just thinking, like it reminds me of those like those little paper craft projects, like the 3D like cut and paste things. Oh god, that actually... oh, you mean like the like the the little dragon beasts that you defeat and then you can like use in battles? Oh yeah, the elemental beasts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, don't get too close to the gorilla, because, uh, he can do this! No! No! Ow! Oh. Fucker. Well, at least it's only one hit. The, uh, Congo video game adaptation is that way. Please, leave. No joke, there was a Congo video game adaptation exclusively for the Sega Saturn. Of course there was. Oh. Okay, cool, so you can no, shake yourself the out. the diamonds are there! All right. Yeah, All right. Well, uh, the other thing I'm thinking of is that... Out? Now he will turn into the secondary villain of Tarzan. The leopard. That's a doofy looking leopard. Okay, I, I, I can do oh, it. God. Whoa. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, he's just squishing. Honestly, oh, I do like yeah. the effects in this fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The effects are great, but the fight itself can be a little cumbersome, especially <laughs> when you're fighting the leopard here, because, uh, well, it doesn't help Ow. too that, you know, I'm working I'm working with a clockwork knight who's a little heavy on the uh, momentum. On the jumping. Wait, oh, oh boy. Okay, that I was just, a little I... scary that the camera panned away from it. Yeah. It is also unfortunately possible to land to, um, you know, whenever when he, you know, he collides with the wall, it's possible if you, to stand too close to him and have uh, Pepperocho literally standing on him, which does hurt him. Right. Uh. I, I love the impact of the whale. <laughs> Every like that, see? Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, lucky. All right, saves. I should... No, 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 he does not freaking... <laughs> it's, not it's, it's just as ah. freaking uh, effect. This poor dude. Stop it. You're hurting yourself. What? 
There is something wrong with the light. I was gonna say there was something wrong with this leopard, but it did end up killing us. Now you see why I pulled the safe state, because this fight is long. Well, that's the problem I'm finding, is that again, it, I, think it's this, I think it's the same thing problem we have with the first game, is that sometimes these bosses have too, mu too many hit points. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd honestly say that 2's not, too, not much better about it. I just, I, I never even listen. Hold on. The ah. thump that you hear as it <laughs> collides is also great. I'll also say, like, something I'm not too fond of that happens occasionally is that, like, when the camera will, like, snap back at Pepper Knight. Yeah. And before, like, the lot before the leopard shows back on. Like, it feels like it doesn't give you enough time to react to it. I feel like this would be a lot easier. I feel like it would be a little... Oh, my gosh. The leopard will actually do one of two things. He'll actually... Oh, jeez. He'll actually lunge immediately, or he'll do a roar, stall stalling for time. All right, so wait for it. Here it comes. Again, I think... I feel, like, I feel like this wouldn't be as hard if it, if the camera zoomed out a bit. Yeah. I also think it wouldn't be too bad if you know maybe there's only one face to each of these uh these uh, fights. Right. Also, so maybe this, this, feels like a, this, this feels like a late game uh, kind of fight. Also, maybe if the leopard stayed like stunned for more than a second and a half. Yeah, it does. And feel also, like maybe it... It, it also might also help too. Pepper Pepper can jump uh, worth worth a damn. Oh, there we go. <gasps> okay. Onto the third face. Well, I'm on a safe state. Is he going to be okay, a shark? Become? Is he the ghost shark? Is he the ghost shark? No, it's a bat. Oh. oh. It's a ghost bat. <gasps> the ghost bat. Actually, it kind of looks more like an owl. As my power as the chairman. Ah, uh, okay. So it just pulls a freaking it just pulls a freaking mosquito. A mosquito from Rayman. Thankfully, the bat you only have to hit three times. That's See, it. that should be that should be how it works for all of them. Rule of threes. Oh my lord. And no. Uh, the other thing I've just been finding. Also, I'm just gonna say stay here because this particular this per now he actually plays a little coy with us. Uh, would would you say it drives you batty? <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, yes. Oh boy. He good catch. Drives him bats. No. Drives him bats. Woo. Yeah, no, you burn in hell. Oh, oh shit. Oh. That's actually a really good, uh, really good detail. He lands on the candle this time, and no more ink for you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. And that is probably one of the more noxious fights in the entire series. Taken care of. Hell yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> you going home? No. Okay, What's... good. Oh, okay. Jeez, I, I thought that was the. He, he, oh my! He literally pulled off that Vsauce uh, intro thing. Vsauce intro. Where the, the where, yeah, where Vsauce enters the room uh, from that one. Uh, it was from that one uh, meme where somebody took the song "Who Can It Be Now." One hundred fifteen oh. coins. Oh God! Oh. It was the go away, don't come around here no more. And it's and it's him as he says "Go away." It's Visa's going ah, and he like shrieks from behind a door uh, to hide. That behind song. Oh no! That two is to one. The right. Oh, what's up? Two to yeah, the right. Two to oh, two to the right. Okay. That is just one of the most earwarming. Yeah. Oh. Damn it! Sorry. But yeah, like that—that that is just one of the most earwormingest songs I've ever heard. Like I—I I still can't get over the chorus with the whole like burr, burr, wee, wee. that whiny thing. Also, this is the part where I'm like, man, I sure wish like they can have the gambling thing if they want, but the bathroom. But I sure wish we could just you know just have a straightforward store. Yeah, like I, I, I have a hundred coins. Nice. Can I just buy stuff? No. Again, all coins are worth in this game are either playing roulette or paying paying for life insurance when you game over. At least I think that's how. It okay, works. yeah, they, with the boss galore. I don't know. Hold on, oh. this bathroom in the '90s. Yeah, this family's loaded. Yeah. Right. I mean, look at the size of that plant. Like, why are you even leaving that in the bathroom at that point? That's a bolt belongs in the patio. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> it, he does make a very nice quacking noise, but yeah, no, just in general, like, this is a very nice looking bathroom. It's a very good bathroom. Unfortunately, the clock, clockwork toys do not bode well with water. By the way, I will say, I do... Oh, shit. I do like when a video game, like... Oh no, I appreciate when a video game goes like, all right, we're going to recreate the inside of a house. Yeah. They always do it. It's like, 
like, especially like with, say, Tinykin, for example, it's always so interesting to literally be the size of a bug being, and traveling just the entire, like, the entire complex of a regular suburban household. Yeah. Oh, no, I like, I like this. And also, like, the graphics look really nice in this area. Uh, I hope you float. I hope you float. Okay, you float. Raise me up! What is that sound? I think that was the turtle. Actually, speaking of turtles, how are you doing, Logan? <laughs> I think Logan's gone right uh, now. I am not gone. And I am refu <laughs> I am just choosing not to justify it with a dignify with a response. Drown oh, you did not drown. Technically oh, I can't oh. drown, I just you know, I oh oh. Okay, so so okay, gotta, so can you swim, or is it just like spook you? No, it's technically I fuck. I oh. said, be careful, James. <laughs> Get up on the turtle. Be careful, there's a helicopter. Uh, how's the helicopter not dying to those spikes over there? Okay, I found the clip. So I need it. Put it over in this for now. Not gonna watch it right now, but later as a reward. Camp up! I can have it! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh this my god! This is really bad! This is really bad! This is really bad! Why do you expose my actions? I can't know what I've done. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's funny is on my end, it was like a very delayed reaction, because it's like, like Pepino dies, few seconds later. Ow! <laughs> that is oh, that has been. It's so it's so weird, but I kind of found a new like VTuber. I kind of dig the like vibe and like appearance of which, which was that uh, that rubber hose like cartoon witch person, whatever her name was. Oh, I I've seen her around. Yeah, the the black and white one. I for, uh, I uh -huh. forgot her name. Oh, uh, pumpkin like, something. I believe pumpkin. Yeah, pump, pump, yeah right. pumpkin. I, pumpkin something. patch. I want to say. Oh boy. I think so. I, I I've seen that. a few people retweet some samples of her uh, streams, and the one that I remember is when there's this one clip where she's doing a dance, and she has like a, a gif of, of Ludwig von Drake dancing along with her. Yeah, Ludwig von Drake. Uh, yeah, okay, pump, Pumpkin Potion. Yeah, Pumpkin Potion. I, I don't know why, I just loved when she yelled, uh, $70 for Applebee's! For Applebee's? <laughs> the way she likes it. For Applebee's? There's that one for me. I love when she's actually singing very well. She's singing, I guess, "Happy Birthday" to someone. Happy Aww. birthday to you. Yeah. And then, a, then another piano falls on her. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> piano falls on her right at the end of the song. And then, just, and, and then while she's off screen, just ow. Yeah. the The best part is the chat can actually. The chat actually is the one that like has control. They, they activate the piano and all that. Somebody timed it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they, they, they put that... My perfectly. birthday's not till next week! It was that one, and then... It was like, it was that one, and then it was also, um... Hi-ho, uh, horse! Hi-ho, hi-ho. Feel the it's speed! The, oh, shit. It's, oh, my God. I think the other one I saw that I liked was, um... Oh, my God. Well, actually, it wasn't, even, it wasn't even like a comedy thing from her specifically, but it was. It was a pre It was just a. I, I, I dig the like vibe she's going for. Where the, according to the presentation, the joke is that her quote unquote origins is like a suicide mouse kind of scenario, where it's like, oh, oh she's from this. She, well, in the sense of, oh, she was originally supposed to air back in the '30s, but the, oh. but the oh. producers thought she was too scary. And, like, therefore, she could never be shown. But, like, so it's, like, all this stuff, like, oh, she should be this, like, very creepy, very horror-filled, like, entity. But she just likes to shitpost and do streams instead so that she can get some attention that way. I love she recently did one, apparently, of, like, making fun of oh. NFTs. And it's, like, if... Oh, if, with Betty Boop and Yeah, if, and if Betty Boop can officially do NFTs, then I'm announcing my own line now. You can't own, you can't own this one, but you can own a receipt. For this one, and she just goes on this whole thing. The full. <laughs> and she goes, uh -oh. like, and you can't screenshot it. If you screenshot, you're stealing it. And uh... <laughs> so wait, is Mine Betty Boop's creator? Do the license home? Do the license owners of Betty Boop actually? Like, I think they, are they did. Actually doing I think they did. I'm looking at that's very. 
Why do you, why does even Betty Poop gotta be sold by that shit when it's already long dead? Yeah, NFT.com. NFT. Oh, the Betty sea lion show's com. on. Woohoo! Oh. Hey! Yeah, Boop and Friends is the official collection of digital fashion collectibles from Betty Boop. It is official. Yeah. God damn it. Why does that need to be a thing? Welcome to BYOB. Build your own Boop. I, I would... I would <laughs> sounds so wrong. I would, I would like to note that uh, oh. Eddie Valiant oh. would definitely be very disappointed in that. Right? Yeah. He's yes, like, he, he looked up and he was like, oh, anyway. The other thing. The well, other... I mean, forget about forget about Benny. What about Bimbo? Right. There was also one other thing. There's also one other thing what I remember Bimbo? now. What about the, we, 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 the, the dog, her little pup? <laughs> no, I'm just making a joke. Just what about oh, okay. Bimbo? Damn. All right. Let's see. All right. So how bullshit is this boss? Uh, it's. I don't know how to feel about this boss. To be perfectly honest with you. Like if you it, like, it's pretty obvious what you gotta do. But uh. Let's just say that uh, this here uh, pirate captain of the seas, of this here sink, uh, will put his tentacles to work. Why is it always an octopus? Yeah, I, I, will, sure. I will say, so wait, what are you supposed to do? Oh lord. Well, avoid his, uh, avoid his soap bars first and foremost. Secondly, uh, hit him right in the tentacles. Oh my gosh. I, I guess for me, I think what, I, what I'm struggling from, at least while watching this capture card, is... Is I think right away I think the biggest issue the biggest difficulty I'm having is just keeping track of everything because it's a lot happening at once yeah. like the erratic movements of the tentacles the constant rising and falling yeah the, no the, the rising waves. and falling is the thing that is messing with me I mean the only real tip I can give is that usually the tentacle that actually that you actually have to hit usually doesn't only moves like maybe like a whole block or so and that most and then okay, that's when you launch the attack. Okay, so if you can just get a, get him into a, a chain, should be good. Yeah, the only real obnoxious part about the fight is usually the, is like the pattern when he starts throwing the soap bars. I oh, got a go ahead, Matt. I got a uh, random topic to discuss with y'all. Uh, oh. Uh, that you'll like it's about Ed, Ed, and Eddie. What's that? Oh, what is it? This is what, it, one of my favorite people I follow on Twitter named uh, Ostrock Box. He posted this one thing. Uh, about Eddie's brother. I want to see how you guys, uh -huh. oh, yeah. if you guys agree with it. Uh, the most effective part of Eddie's brother as a character is how he completely shifts the tone of the series. Within seconds, he turned the show's wacky, over-the-top slapstick into something that almost uh, that's almost uncomfortable to watch, recontextualizing 130 seconds of TV in an instant. I mean, honestly, yeah. Like, it kind of really does... And I remember, because I think I saw that post too, one person pointed out the fact that, like, if you, like, look back at, like, earlier episodes where Eddie does talk about his brother, it already does kind of, like, you know, plant the seeds for what he ends up being. Like, the fact that, like, it's like, oh, my brother taught me this before he went away. Like, he didn't, like, move out. Like, he wasn't, like, he was, like, God. sent away. Nice. No, he to, just he just ditched. And to be fair, cool. appar apparently, actually, the original plan was, or at least one of those executives said the original plan was that there was no brother, but uh, the creator said no, there has to be a brother. And I mean, the way yeah. they implemented him is, oh, ooh, oh, oh boy, oh, I'm okay. Oh, hey, Baro. <laughs> Good times. I don't think I didn't see that. Uh, I also I also remember one other moment of pumpkin potion I just I liked as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, fr from the compilation, or whatever the um, because she usually sounds like this a little squeaky, a little high pitch, but can also pull that off everything. like really like different. But but, right. but then can, let's go. But then can do uh, different voices as well, and one of them was get fucking low at J C Penney's. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then of course she did the uh, Oratrice Mechanese. Uh, or a tree's mechanic. Uh, I it has been nice. It has been uh, double it. It has been okay. burned in my head, but I but yeah I do remember it. Uh, oh okay, so it's a good cluster. I'm gonna say four to the left. Uh, but yes, or a tree's mechanic down at least cut it now. Yeah, and she did that while dancing. Two, three, four. Or a tree's mechanic down at least Want to try again? Yes. No. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see, it's now... So okay, there's fewer. Time. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna say three to the right. Yeah, I'd say okay. three to the right. Hey! Keep it! Keep 
keep it at that. We're good. Yeah, let's we're keep good. It. Let's keep it. Oh. We're okay. good. All right, now Again. just yeah, do, just keep betting. We'll be back, folks. You know, what? I think 30 lives is a nice, good, solid number. I think we're good. I think we're good. Fair. And you know what? I have enough for the bus fare. I feel like I probably can't, me personally, I feel like I can't really judge VTubers, like, too harshly because I, one of my friends is technically a VTuber. No, no, I am, I mean, I am never going to... Oh, by to... the way, the family owns a clock tower. Huh. What? Oh. Uh, all right. So, oh, this is the house from Clock Tower, the original. God, now, oh. now it all makes sense. <laughs> clock Tower, wow. that makes sense. Clock Tower. Oh, that's the one. It's cl uh, Oh, that's the one. But no. no, really quick, I will say, I never judge VTubers. I'm going to say this. Unle unless it's like some NFT-based VTuber or some shit, I will never judge VTubers. Uh, and I have massive respect for them, especially the ones that can yeah. make their own models. Like, it's really impressive. I will always give them props. It's not something I'm into, though, watching. That's my whole thing. That's fair. I, I never will judge, like, a VTuber unless they actually do, like, something horrible. Um, but no. Like, I, I always do VTubers. Oh, oh my no. lord. Okay. No, no, So, yeah, yeah I guess it should also already be said. The Clock Tower. Probably the hardest level in the entire series. Clock Towel. Also, holy crap. You gotta throw in the Clock Towel. Someone just went and did it. What? We someone what? just up. Someone just uploaded a 152-minute video onto Twitter, which is just all of season one of Family Guy edited back to back. Oh, not oh, not wow. only that. No, 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 Logan. Another one is that somebody put the entirety of the Frieza versus uh, Goku fight, and it's two hours and fifty minutes. Wow. I forgot how many episodes it lasted. You know, I also remember someone did a very similar thing with the entirety of the Mario movie. I'll try one more time. The, the animated one, to be specific. Right, I recall that one. And okay, so oh, what yeah, is all the way, these, these these particular floors are again they're slippery. Jesus. Oh, they're oiled up because it looks like there's oil in the bottom. Yep. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. oh. This what would level, that reward have even? Honestly, I'd say safe state. Save state just in case. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, he just explained. So there's only a card down there? There's a card down there, and I think an extra life. Now, I don't know if we already mentioned this. Uh, do cards remain flipped even if you've died? Yes. yes. Yeah, I saw that okay. earlier. Doop. Also, you know, I love, you know, funny timing since uh, I've been seeing all those freaking, like, uh, Ted memes going around. I keep forgetting that there's those, those freaking, bear, like, stuffed bears in the uh, cups that throw shit at you. Aww. Yep. Gotta watch out for them. They kind of remind me of Monty Holes. Not going to oh, lie. Kinda. Definitely seems to be inspiration for it. Okay, 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 okay. This was never made for oh. 3D. Oh, oh my lord. Oh Time my it. god, oh my lord, oh my shit. Oh my shit. I'll be right so. back, by the way. All okay. good, all good. It's gonna take me a bit to climb up this whole thing. This is annoying. <laughs> Could be worse. I'm immediately not having fun. Why'd you make us this do this? Just, just, just make an elevator. Just make an ordinary elevator. <laughs> just one that goes up and down. You just, you stand on it, you go, and it's done. To, to heck with elevators. If you want to have your cake and eat it too, make it an escalator. Yeah, you have your levels. You have your, you have your, you have your stages. You got, you got your stairs. This takes time. And if James dies, thank goodness. Because if James died, we'd have to do that again. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, like, I I know you're reacting to the save state, but I thought all the whole uninterrupted thought was like, if James dies, thank goodness. No. <laughs> Awful. Cause I love it. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's see. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba. Now we're outdoors. Oh, how? Careful, 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 uh, careful. Toy careful, box careful, magic, my friend. Toy box careful. magic. That's how we've been able to warp through all the other ones. Don't mind the. Knuckle Joe? Of all the ki all enemies that types I did not want to see return for the uh, sequel. I was gonna say, it looked too armored to be a Knuckle Joe. Fair. Well, he, I mean, he's got a shield on. And of, and of course... Whoa! Am I forgetting anything, actually? 
I didn't see anything else. Oh, that's just a card hidden. Oh, like... what the fuck? Oh, you found uh... the portal to the other realm. Oh. Oh, it okay, was actually so... necessary. Huh. Okay, so that was an Easter. That's an Easter egg. Okay. I, 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 th I, oh, I really, oh, I really. Hold on a moment, fellas. We're back in the attic. Oh. Oh. And now we're back at the clock tower proper. Ah, damn. I was like, I, I, well, oh, and then, uh, we're right back here where we start. Okay, so 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 we went backwards a little bit, but uh, actually, I think this might be uh, further on ahead because I know there's technically a secondary uh, clock tower sequence I have to go through anyway. Oh well. Oh my god, this is required. Oh, okay. Hey, oh. Did, did, did. Uh, technically, it's not that. What I just went through was an alternate uh, route. Okay, but but yes, I I really did. I was with you. I really did think that we had just clipped out of bounds and we're about to fall to our death. It looked yeah. like it too, but now thankfully it was just a. It was technically one of those. Uh, oh shit! Oops. Oh, man. This, unless we're about, let's hope that we don't. Let's hope we're not required to double. I think we're required to double back. I think we just lost progress. Now we totally lost progress. Just like that is, no idea. Go. I'm just like that is so annoying that. And just, just that is so annoying that you could get this far and you just have to start the whole level over again. Well, also that helped by the fact that it's a timed level technically. This level's so long. Again, this is why you need. This is why these kinds of games need checkpoints. Would have been nice. Like this game. Like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna outright say that Clockwork Knight in a general, like as a whole, is a, a really hard game. This is just one of those rare few cases where it kind of just turns off, turns the dial up to a thousand without realizing. But it kind of needs to make it all balanced. Yeah, I mean, yeah, nice. it's not like the first game where the levels are generally short enough to where it's not that big of a deal. Well, it's, right. it's just it's just balance. Like again, like I I could even handle nice. See, see, see. I, there I, you I, go. I, I, I missed. Oh me me. I could even handle like some precise platforming, but it like in in certain do smaller doses. Like have it at the start of the level, not the very very end. For right. Real? All right. And that's so, honestly not even the hard. That's not, honestly I find the next level kind of worse. Oh great! Because now comes the point where they start, where the uh, big bat starts throwing his uh, moops his weight around. Oh boy! Let us see how we do. Okay, so we're now we're in the the greater machinations of the clock tower. Inside the pipe tree, the pipe work. Oh my lord! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, oh okay. What, could, what, what is? Jeez, you could die before you even hit the bottom. Yeah, and I just completely missed that. You died before you hit the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Was... I died. That was stupid. But what the? Uh, Stay I'm inside just... the pipe forever. <laughs> Live I'm here. Just whacking. I'm just being an idiot. Live here amongst the rats. Well, I mean, hey, hey, it was working. Oh, okay. Okay. Might be dull as shit, but think of how impressive your your arm strength's gonna be. Okay, you got an invincibility. Okay, it's now we can fall over. You big bastard. Oh, I, um, I, have bomb. I was very nervous because I was like, wow, is that literally how long the invisibility lasted for? Hmm. Alright, here we go. Also, I do apologize. I got hungry while we were recording. What are you uh -oh. eating? What you got? Chicken! What kind of chicken? Fried chicken. Yum. What kind of fried chicken? Fried chicken is good. No, no he's saying what kind. Oh! Just fried chicken from my local supermarket. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I still love those rotisserie chickens. Oh, I do too. Also, wow, that's a uh, wow. They really, they really fall back if you try to, you know, jump over them. Funny oh, enough, shit. like just speaking of fried chicken, I actually had some air fried chicken like earlier today, like right before we did our <sighs> session today. That's fair. I had some. I had. I went to Buckhorns and got some of their garlic pulled pork. Oh, garlic pulled pork. That sounds good, actually. Yep, it's like this nice little like uh, ow. It's like this nice little uh, like rub on it, and then uh, I suppose the thing that I, the, the food that I probably the the food that I could have had, but I I decided not to because this diet was it was gonna be garlic mashed potatoes. Mmm, so good. <laughs> you, be, you know, better garlic than over radiated. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be right back. I need something to drink after this. Okay. No worries. There we go. 
Honestly, if there's another gold going to pee, that would honestly be even better, but I'm just gonna sell it like. I'm on the save state right now, James. Just did. There you go, Good. yeah, he just did. Away with you, you heathen. Actually, let me push you back. Oh. Or, or just do that. that oh, you good. exploded him. I was supposed to say, how did that one kill him? But like any other time you swing your key at him, they just block him. Oh my god, I just realized what I'm oh. doing. I can literally do this to assert dominance on them. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's like, you could have just, done that I'm scared. the entire time. I, whoop. And I, for, I forgot I could do that. <laughs> Moving on. Joseph, what do we do? Back. He thinks he's a bad guy. I have to flap my arms. Like, we have our orders, but those flapping arms scare me. <laughs> oh, Logan, why'd you have to miss out on such a glorious uh, moment? Actually, yeah, like, if, it, if this is, like, their natural instinct from you doing that, it's, like, I'm kind of surprised why you... Oh, now this I can't really do with, because he's literally... I'm stuck, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place on my way out. Just throw the egg at him. Well, I gotta get a good... Well, fat little good oh. that did. There you go. But whatever, we're out of here. Jesus Christ. Whew. Again, not a fan of this level. Jesus and Rice Mooney. Can't say I blame you. Coin! Holy. I just wanted a. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is really like the one staking point of the entire game, for the record. Like, everything else has mostly been okay, save for some of the boss fights. And I guess I could also just be a by pro just be a bad effect on playing on the hard mode. So... I mean, that is that. And also just my general stupidity when jumping. Do, 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 do. Well, I mean, I'm... I mean, to be fair, like, it it doesn't help that, like, the Pepper Knight here does... is, like, relatively floaty sometimes with his jumps. Yeah. I guess I, all things considered, I kind of do hope for that whole Super Sega game initiative that they're doing now. Ooh. I kind of hope that they put Clockwork Knight as a part of that, because honestly, this game could really benefit from a remake. Yeah, it'd be nice. I mean, like, we, we we really have to wait and see, because, like, like we need to wait and see what the end more entails from that big, like, Sega t revival ad that they gave us at the Game Awards. Fair enough. Yeah. I'll be right back. I guess. Okay. Okay. Gotta put the chicken away. You know, it I does make me so wonder, like, when do you think we'll be in the next time we hear about, like, any of the stuff that they have announced? Right? Oh, what the? Oh! Woohoo! I, I didn't know about that. Like, just judging from what we've seen so far, it feels like out of a lot of them, Shim Shinobi might be, like, the first to release, since I imagine, like, a 2D platformer of that vein probably wouldn't take as long to develop as the others. Probably not. But we'll see what happens. You'd be surprised with how uh, long the long a uh, development time can end up being. And got it. Yeah. Oh man, do, that's do, 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 to the do, high do, heavens. Do, but we're do, done. Do, do. The worst is more or less over. What I miss? Uh, a lot. <laughs> the uh, entire second level of the clock tower, okay. which honestly you kind of bailed at the exact right time because it was a load of me it was a load of shit. Well, it's time to we finally corner and track down who's been behind all this MacGuffinery. Don't worry, Daddy. I'll make you proud. Malarkey, that's the word. By the way, I'm not <laughs> calling you Daddy. <laughs> so who is it? What is it? Who's behind the mayhem? The king. A castle. Or maybe you could, for all we know, this could just be another fake out like the last game, where we all thought that the big, the big Iron Kong was the whole, was behind everything. True. But we'll see what happens. But yes, we are literally fighting that whole castle right now. Oh, okay. The entire castle is the enemy. Years before Mario Wonder made that a concept. And in terms of, oh my gosh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Where are we going? Now we get the light on the clock. Oh. Always a fancy, always a fancy set piece. We get the fight on the clock towel. Oh yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> now, well, on the clock towel's face, anyway. So, 
And I guess I, I think I forgot to mention this. Um, with the oh my gosh, with the um, hard mode difficulty, is the difference really only just like after you beat the boss, like more will happen in hard mode, or? Uh, just an extended ending. That's it. Okay. I mean, otherwise, you know, like I said before, boss patterns are different. Cer certain enemy and uh, item placements are different. It, it works. <laughs> Da, 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 da. But yeah, no, that, that, what you're seeing is what you get with this fight. He's just gonna try and push you off the block. Oh, okay. Can, can the hands actually do damage or they just shove? Uh, if you're, if you hit them, if he hits you right in the palm, you, it will hurt, yes. Come on. Okay, Otherwise, he's, he's just gonna try to shove you out of the way. Oh, yeah. okay. okay, good, good, good. Alright, here comes another one. Oh, that's right, he also does this. I forgot about this attack! Ah. Oh. Oh. Well, at least you hit him on the way down. Ah, uh, this is back here. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> this poor guy is just rolling. Oh, I think that's really um, pretty much all there is to the fight. Hi! Tell you how! After these games, you're gonna you're gonna hear nothing but squeaks for the rest of your days. I already hear them now. <laughs> so I will say, I will say, Logan, you did miss, uh... James probably as angry as in a little while. Oh yeah, no. like, because like no joke, like I think is between a rock and a night place. Yeah, like uh. I think the only other time I recall James being like this severely angry at a game was back when we were still working on Conquer. That's oh, right. that's right, because yeah, the when bats. he had to conquer that game. Um, yeah, like where it got to a point so where like slight behind the scenes, uh, slight behind the scenes tidbit, but the, the mansion level, it got so bad, it got to a point where James was actually contemplating scrapping the whole playthrough. I forget what changed. Was it just like we just took a breather and came back? Yeah, we just took a breather. It was mostly a breather, and I think like in between sessions, I did do a little. I did do some more test, like I did another test run, like on my own time. Yeah. Ah, just to be more familiar with it. Got it. Yeah. Because you know, that's right. It was because we were getting lost on where we're supposed to go in where all the zombies. Were. That's right. We were we were just getting lost on where to even go in the castle. Yeah. Again, that cast that castle is just fucking massive. Yep. Way too big and uh, too many bottomless pits everywhere. And I remember now it was because you had to do. It's because you had to hit so many switches to leave all in like all in one life almost. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, come on. Uh, is there any point to attacking oh, we're done. oh we're done. you did it! Oh wow. Oh. And we were able to avoid him doing the doing the, the bongo attack. Haha. Or whatever that rock guy from uh Superstar was. Uh, yeah, Nova. Alright. Oh, no, not Nova the, uh, oh, go ahead. Well anyway, we have de we have bested the clock tower itself. Which only means there's one thing left to do. Save the princess! Chelsea. Unfortunately, now we come face to face with the true mastermind of it all. A T-Rex. Uh, you're close. A Durgan. A mechanical Durgan. I mean, it makes sense. We already... We've had to fight Ridley. I mean, it makes sense. We already clockwork a knight, so we must face... Oh my god. Oh, oh god. So we must face a clock. Also, I, love, I love that the boss theme of this is literally just the main theme of Clock Knight as a whole, but in uh, minor key. Ah. Oh. Also, be mindful with this with this fight because uh, uh, he can attack with his tail, and Chelsea is attached to his tail. By the way, this whole thing's being piloted by our grandfather. Wait, what? I knew it. Yeah, no, I yeah, I just know it was being piloted. Therefore, yeah, our grandfather is the villain. Why? Essentially. Why? I, I don't know. Maybe he age is just just catching up with him. Now he just feels the need to be, stay away, like stay away. I don't know what he was planning in all of this. He's just loopy. Fair. He's a crazy old coot. Also, so what uh, happens? If, yeah. So what happens if I accidentally hit Chelsea? Well, Chelsea will accidentally hit us, which means well, it'll hurt. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought there was like some like different light. I thought there was like a, a new like mechanic where if you ever dealt damage to Chelsea, like. Clockwork Knight, which is die of grief. Also, also, I just, 
I just realized as well, his boss theme does is the James Bond theme too. The do 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 do. Get back here, Grandpappy! I'm not finished with you. You gotta take your meds, Grandpappy. How do you even? How'd you even do all this anyway? Ow! I bought it on the internet. I was. That's oddly specific, Grandpappy. I was the top better. Yeah, he was. He probably would be too. He's got all of this money. He lives in a clock tower. He's li he lives uh, exiled from the rest of the toys. He probably's got some money he's sitting on. Probably. Ow. Oh my God. I, I don't even get to eat ah. with the other toys. All I, I eat is lint and screws. Oh. Oh. I cut you oh. off from the inheritance. Therefore, I have everything. <laughs> I have written you out of my will. We're toys. We don't need wills. You didn't even have a will. Oh. We were trying to set up an appointment for you to write one, but then you just kept on AWOLing. You fools never understood my hobby of building mechanized dragons. To be fair, we never quite understood your obsession with them until now. This is starting to, like, actually make a lot more sense. Maybe he was just very- he was just planning for the good old days. Perhaps. Perhaps. I just realized I, have some, I have to keep remembering that he's gonna launch his tail out whenever he lands back down. Yeah, I would say it's. Be I would say best just to keep your distance and then run in. And then when he turns to face you, then it's safe to crawl. And oh my gosh, then it's safe to crawl. So I'd say get away from right. him. Put some distance. Wait for it. Wait for it. Tails out. Bail out. And then crouch and get him. Oh my gosh, okay, that's a new move, then. There we go. Now for phase two. Save state, I guess? But oh, I, gotta, I gotta run. But, uh, okay, I'll, fine, I'll save state. But, like, we're down to one health, one hit point, so I don't know how many hits this guy takes now. Well, first we're gonna just go flying around like that and up. Oh, it's, okay. Now I gotta get ready to hit him, and... Stop Ow. wailing on him for all for what it's worth, Ooh. then run. Ow. Woo. Yeah, no, it's between My the fight's now between you and his head. I want to say just in case. We'll load back up for it. We'll be right back. Oh, all right. Face two time. All right, sick. And we all got right. much more yeah. help. See, see, James, this is what happens when you try. Well, well, he tries. Oh my gosh. A joke. I'm just being an just for, Matt, he is gonna give you <laughs> no end. To, he's gonna give you no end to shit when you play Plague of Torment or Plague of Shadows. Yes. Yeah, I know. I was joking, man. You bet your sweet ass I'm gonna make the most of it. It's just a prank, bro. I'm joking, man. <laughs> I know. That don't worry. I'm I'm going to give you some. I'm gonna give you some harsh critique when you do Kingdom Battle. I hate you. And Sparks of Hope. And Sparks of Hope. I hate you all. Wait, which, wait, probably have you, which probably have you had a chance to play Sparks of Hope yet? Me? Yeah, uh, I never yeah. finished it, unfortunately, but yeah, I have. I played it, of course, yeah. Ah, uh, Grand Pappy? Oh, there you are. Hey! Oh, I can't stop this thing! Also, considering Matt's the big XCOM fan, wouldn't it seem weird for him to be the one to be judged? Yeah. I mean... Well, I mean... I mean, no, it would, make, it would make all the more sense, considering that Whoa. we're going to judge him to see if he really is as good of an XCOM nerd as he claims to be. If he can tolerate XCOM, and especially XCOM 2's, like, BS, which actually, I guess I should ask, did you ever... Done. Did you ever... Oh, I'll ask you about, I'll ask you about XCOM 2 after this. Uh, in case you were, I never beat XCOM 2, unfortunately. Did you ever play its DLC, the something like Sins of the Fallen, or whatever it's uh, called? Uh, War of the Chosen? I, uh, yeah. never got to, unfortunately. Yeah, but I did. I do want to. It's like a super harder version of the game. Anyway, uh, plot's over. Hooray! The true evil has been defeated, and now we can go back to Chelsea with no regrets. We beat Grandpappy to a pole. <gasps> Chelsea? Oh, jeez. Don't worry, I got you! Oh! Ginger! Don't worry, I got you! Now just comes the problem of, how do we wake her up still? She has yet to wake up from the first game. Only one person who's knocked back to his senses can tell us how to do it. You. Uh, no hard feelings, eh, Shiny? <laughs> Fuck off. Grandpa? <laughs> With random subcaption there. 
Pepper, what happened? All I remember is being overcome by an evil power. Yeah, oh, this suddenly became like. Oh god, like... he's magnifico. <laughs> Can we save Chelsea? Oh my god. I love Can how this suddenly became like the. Wind her out with Ginger's key. Ginger's Chelsea's brother. <gasps> oh. What? This makes it awkward. I totally had the hots for her. Only that can break the spell of the dark power. Me? Chelsea's brother? <laughs> but, uh, but, well, uh, as, here goes. as you're saying, hype. I just love the fact that, like, there's suddenly, like, the just separate black screened captions for all the characters, like it was a black and white film. Yeah, it's not a film. <laughs> yeah. Which is what well, you have to say to yourself, Chelsea. So, anyway, we're apparently related, so I'm going to have to just go... I'm gonna let you well, have this one. No, I, I, I think now we know who's re who's really gonna win Chelsea's heart now. Yay. I think I think they're just happy that she's still alive and kicking. Yeah. yeah. All it took for us to do was just wind up her key. And now we know how to save her in the future. And perhaps now we will never again need to fight the lives of toy kind again. Although, I guess in terms of closure, they don't, I guess they never really divulged what this evil power was that suddenly took over Grandpa. Nope. They really did. No, no. the gra it, it we, just, it, it let's, just happened. Let's be honest, the Grandpa went senile. Ah. Yeah, that's essentially what happened. Grandpa kind of just lost his, kind of just got loopy. Ah, whales. But hey, now's a good time for our roll call. Yay. Because, yeah, no, we've literally reached the very end of Clockwork Night, both one and two, otherwise yeah. known as Pepperocho's Adventure. This was a fun time. Yep, yeah, another classic Sega, you know, another Sega, another interesting Sega classic, one that, kind of a shame it never really went much further past the Saturn games, but it is what it is. Aww. Also, look, there's the slotting puzzle character. Pazur. And then there's Pappy. Onion. Onion de Pepperocho. I don't know Second. why, I just wanted to see his eyebrows just wiggle like bip, bip. <laughs> And his name is... And then there's Garluch. Garluch. Or Garluch. Okay, fair enough. And... And then there's Solchia. Perfume bottle. She is in love with Tongara. I don't know who Tongara is. That's us. That's Pepper. Oh, we're Tongara. Oh, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, our last name. Oh, that's name. right. It's me. Well, and that's our valet right there. Who looks like a bootleg Mr. Potato Head. I like how his text was like in <sighs> half colors as well. Hey. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, boing. And then there's our noble steed. Uh, I don't know Baro, why. Baro. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Lebon, the, the ball, for some reason, I just want him to have the Seth Brogan laugh. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love the Google eyes that our horse has. And then... Ginger's crotch. There's Ginger. Ginger. Cool and nihilistic. Weird. I don't quite get the nihilistic part. I don't think he's been nihilistic. I don't think they understand what the word nihilistic means. Right. I don't, I don't believe so either. And then there's Chelsea. The prince is a toy land. And then there's us. Tongara de Pepperocho. Tongara. Ah, he's Clumsy and careless. But good-natured. And, and we love Chelsea, and she loves us, and Ginger can't love her because that's illegal in 14 different places. <laughs> oh, no, no, and... no, no, no. There is such a thing as a, a brotherly love. For sure. Oh, of course, sibling. Yeah, I mean, he cares for her. And the end. That would be where the things would stop. Well, okay, hold on. We still got to have our roll call where they actually animate this time. Aww. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Look at them all. This, is still, this still had a lot of charm for itself. Like, all the... Pre I... Yes, it was them trying to do their own, like, Donkey oh, Kong. Oh, but wait, thing, there's but... more. Eh? Oh? Because we did this on hard mode, we get an extended ending, where now, looks like Chelsea and Pepperocho are getting married. Oh. Aww. And Ginger's like, <laughs> have fun, you two. Yay! Hey, to be fair, mm. Gin Ginger can now get with Solsha, you know? Mm. Yeah, the fucking Assuming yeah. Ginger wants to get with her. <sighs> And that 10 to 15 seconds was it. You did it, James. You beat the game on hard mode. Good job. Let's and there's see the cards. Our progress. Yeah. Yeah, we missed a good handful. But uh, all the same. Again, if you got all the cards, you would get the special code that would give you lo the level select. All right. Well. 
And so ends our time with the Clockwork Knight, Sir Tongara de Peprocho the Third. Woo, 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 woo. The Third. He will never be seen again until many years later, where he would just suddenly become an icon in Sonic Colors Ultimate. Of all things. Fair enough. Yeah, that was very weird. Fair hey, <laughs> look at that. We're all celebrating in style. Hey. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh huh. Uh, I forgot when. Uh, Oh, wait, ultimate. Oh, right, right, the ultimate version. Never mind. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the other, the re release. So, yeah, with that said, uh, we hope you all enjoyed our time with Clockwork oh, Knight. I, and... I do have a couple quick things to mention about the series. Uh, oh, sure, go for it. Was that Clockwork Knight, according to this Wikipedia page, sorry, Clockwork Knight, like, these two games were all we really got, and unfortunately, not for any lack of them trying. They, they attempted, I guess, twice, actually, to try. They attempted twice to give something more for this. Like, there was going to be a spin-off called Clockwork Knight Penguin War or Clockwork Knight Puzzle. Oh. It was going to be it was announced back in the mid-90s, but nothing ever came about of that. And then apparently in 2003, they actually were working on a reboot of the, of the two games called Night and Night for uh, the GameCube. Um, but oh. then that was never released. Yeah, I mean, that was right around the time when Sega was, like, that was kind of like another era where Sega were trying their dandest to try to revitalize some of their properties. Time to fight the bosses. It's actually cool that it's, like, it's, like, all the rhythm songs. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in a way, technically, it's just listing who they are. So I'll go and show Ginger one last time, because uh, this is, like, the only other time where, uh, well, you're, you can play... This is like, if you're just playing the game with no codes or whatever, this is like the only time that the bosses from the first game would actually be utilized. Oh dear. Also, whoops, I forgot to change the controls. Well, then again, I don't think you can actually do that, so I'm just going to have to settle with what's already present. Oh, I did also find some other in oh, info. Oh, he did a dive attack there. I did, also, I did also find this other detail. The reason why this guy's skin is blue is because they had to change it so it would not look like you're just wailing on a child. Yeah, right, yeah, we, we were talking about, about that in the last game. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you missed on our fight with Sir, Dapper, Sir uh, D D uh, Dandy Bobber in the last time. That is true. Okay. Can I, can I just say that I like... Whoop. Ooh. Can I just say that I really like Ginger's walking animation where he looks like he's just coming down like the, the boardwalk of the WWE? <laughs> dun, dun, honestly, dun, 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 honestly dun, dun, dun. I'm sorry. With his hand outstretched, it looks like he's flipping off any enemy he walked towards. Fuck off! Oh, so that's why they, so that's why they call him Nihilistic. <laughs> oh, he doesn't give a care. Okay. So, the other thing I did... again. <laughs> The only other thing I could find out about this Night and Night game for the GameCube was that reportedly it was going to have Overworks uh, developing it. Um, oh, that makes sense. But uh, for, but then Overworks later, you know, got you know absorbed and became Sega WoW or WoW Entertainment. So that some people were thinking that maybe that whole like acquisition or you know absorption led uh, led to uh, the reason why the game was canceled, but uh, for those who are curious, Overworks, they're the ones who made uh, uh, Skies of Arcadia and stuff. Oh, nice. And, um, and, uh, uh Panzer Dragoon Orta. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the PS2 Shinobi. That's it. Man, that would honestly have been pretty interesting to see, if actually see those devs work on a Clockwork Night of reboot. Yeah. There you go. Bye, Starscream. Tell Megatron! Fuck him! A boom. Who is Megatron? <laughs> what is a Megatron? How is a Megatron? I'll ask you. I'll do I'll you do a better. better. Why is a Megatron? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I absolutely love that that line was apparently improvised by Bautista. Really? I, I believe. Yeah. It. Yeah. The uh, the uh, like the whole uh. Yeah, where's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? Apparently, Bautista is like, can I say a, a funny line that tracks with it? Yeah, yeah, I'll do yeah, you one better. That would be Why is Gamora? Gamora? Yeah. Why is Gamora? It's like, I don't know. I actually don't know. Ow. 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 What, what, what's our reward even for beating this mode? I think with that said, that you more or less got the gist of the boss galore mode. You pretty much just fight every single boss from both the first game and the second. And I do know if you manage to beat the whole thing without losing a life, you do include you unlock an extra video called the Birth of Pepperocho, which Whoa. shows off some uh, some prototype stuff regarding the original Clockwork Knight. Oh, oh okay. That's, okay, that's nice. so it's 
I, d- I don't know why. I, I was expecting something more in universe than actually showing him being born. Oh, no. <laughs> God, no. Well, I mean, like, born in the sense of, like, how he was, like, you know, like, say, like, a toy maker putting him together and whatnot. Yeah, like a like a whole Geppetto scenario. But yeah, I found it here on YouTube Geppetto. as well. It, it, it is available on YouTube under the YouTube channel Saturn Memories. Ah. Speaking of which, um, as we finish our commentary with the Clockwork Night games, there is one last thing I will share with you guys because uh, I couldn't really think of any other legitimate way to uh, share this. Uh, in the original version of Clockwork Night 1, which, you know, which we also got in the West, there was a credit sequence where Solskjaer would sing a lullaby while the credits rolled. And, uh, well, it was cut out of the... Uh, the bundle pack for whatever reason, but uh, for now we'll we'll leave you off with this fun little, with this sweet little song number. Till next time, everybody. Doodaloo. Hopefully, the monetization gods will be helpful. Oh right, yeah, bye. <laughs>